Without basking in triumph or succumbing to the sting of defeat, SpaceX swiftly transitioned from its historic flight on November 17th. The company promptly engaged in a meticulous examination of the encountered challenges, fervently delving into solutions. More incredible, Elon Musk just revealed a new Starship Flight 3 launch date next month. Find out everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. This is not an ambition. After checking the water deluge system and the pad, Elon Musk yesterday confirmed that Starship Flight 3 hardware should be ready to fly in three to four weeks. There are three ships in final production in the high bay, as can be seen from the highway. Yeah, you can tell me that ready to fly doesn't mean will fly. Obviously, SpaceX is still investigating what they do or don't need to change. However, this does show he's probably very happy with the data he's seen. The vehicles for the third flight are slated to be Ship 28 and Booster 10 both of which have several upgrades already over the current stack. However, it is unclear if this sequential order will be kept going forward, as SpaceX could be planning for ground test vehicles at a later point. SpaceX might now need to make changes to B-10 and S-28, depending on what they find after the latest flight. Booster 11 recently headed back to the production site from its cryo-testing at Massey's. Booster 10 has already undergone that milestone and just needs to be static fired when the OLM is ready to host it. We're all familiar with Musk's timeline, but let's consider it yourself. Compared to the reasons for the Starship delay after Ship 25 and Booster 9 explosion, everything at the moment is much more promising. For the biggest concern, launch pad. As Elon Musk and SpaceX stated, no refurbishment needed to the water-cooled steel plate for next launch. Congrats to SpaceX team and contractors for engineering and building such a robust system so rapidly. The surrounding infrastructures are also safe. Livestream units near the Starbase also confirmed their camera locations were fine and no rocks or debris appeared. Next, nearly two hours after the flight, the FAA also posted a notice confirming that no injuries or public property damage had been reported. It can be said that the launch pad is the biggest problem that delayed Starship over six months ago. The Stage Zero upgrade is one of the most important requirements that the FAA asked SpaceX to complete after the April flight. Even before the recent flight, another agency, FWS, also paid attention to the water deluge system, as this system was among the main categories they conducted surveys and assessments. Those attentions are extremely understandable, especially when we look at the damage that occurred during the first orbital test flight. Luckily, Launchpad is in great shape, Elon Musk tweeted on X after the second Starship flight. The FAA also feels more satisfied with this result than before. This information is preliminary and subject to change. A mishap occurred during the SpaceX Starship OFT-2 launch from Boca Chica, Texas on Saturday on November 18. The anomaly resulted in a loss of the vehicle. No injuries or public property damage have been reported, the agency announced on X. The FAA is responsible for ensuring commercial space launches don't endanger the public assessing their environmental impacts, and making sure they comply with U.S. national security and foreign policy priorities. As it did after the April test flight, SpaceX will create a list of corrective actions to fix the problems observed on Saturday's launch. The FAA will approve the list and ensure SpaceX completes all of the actions relevant to public safety before issuing a new commercial launch license for the third Starship test flight. Besides SpaceX's efforts, the next flight will also be directly pushed by the NASA agency. Starship Mega Rocket didn't ace its second-ever test flight Saturday, but it performed well enough to NASA hold its expectations on Elon Musk's SpaceX. 
Congrats to the teams who made progress on today's flight test. Spaceflight is a bold adventure demanding a can-do spirit and daring innovation. Today's test is an opportunity to learn, then fly again. Together, a NASA and a SpaceX will return humanity to the moon, Mars, and beyond, Nelson wrote in a post on X. As that post suggests, NASA has an interest in Starship's success. The space agency chose Starship as the first crewed lander for its Artemis program, which aims to establish a sustainable human presence on and around the moon by the end of the 2020s. If all goes according to plan, Starship will deliver NASA astronauts to the lunar surface for the first time on Artemis III, which is targeted for late 2025. A Starship lunar landing is still a long way off, but the vehicle made some strides toward that exciting future on today's flight. For example, all 33 of the Raptor engines on Starship's Super Heavy first stage ignited and the booster separated from the Starship upper stage as planned about 2 minutes and 40 seconds after liftoff, though the booster also exploded shortly after separation, and Starship reached space attaining a maximum altitude of 91 miles, 148 kilometers, according to the telemetry SpaceX provided during today's launch webcast. The boundary of space lies at 50 miles, 80 kilometers, or 62 miles, 100 kilometers. All of those numbers are improvements over Starship's d flight, which lifted off from Starbase on April 20, a handful of Super Heavy's Raptors conked out during that mission. Even more problematically, the two stages failed to separate, so SpaceX commanded the vehicle's destruction, which occurred four minutes after liftoff. Starship reached a maximum altitude that day of 24 miles. NASA now needs Starship to move as quickly as possible to meet its deadline. There is a roadmap for SpaceX to quickly mature Starship, introducing new technology and capabilities over a series of test flights set to run through 2024. The big priorities for Starship are to move forward with iterating the design to support NASA's lunar lander needs and to start deploying new generation Starlink Internet satellites, allowing SpaceX to grow the broadband network significantly faster than possible with its existing Falcon 9 rockets. At some point during this sequence, which will play out over the course of several weeks to several months, SpaceX will launch the human-rated lander version of Starship without anyone on board. Once the depot is at full capacity, Starship will dock with it, receive a fresh supply of methane and liquid oxygen, and then light its Raptor engines for the journey to the moon. All of these will launch on top of the super heavy booster, likely alternating between launch pads in Texas and Florida. Despite different cultures, NASA, the often bureaucratic and conservative government agency, and SpaceX, the fast-moving company that likes to design, break, and fix things, are tied at the hip. Without SpaceX, U.S. astronauts would still be reliant on Russia to fly to the International Space Station. Without NASA's support, SpaceX probably wouldn't be here today. NASA officials have said that their cooperation with SpaceX in developing the Crew Dragon, spacecraft for space station ferry flights, has laid a foundation for their newer partnership on the Starship Lander, which will be NASA's first human landing system, a critical piece of the agency's Artemis program to return astronauts to the moon. In short, as with any rocket development program, and especially the largest ever assembled, SpaceX's timeline for the next Starship flight is likely to evolve and change. We hope that it happens as soon as possible. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.